this person is stuck wrapped in a suitcase. When someone hurts him physically, a gold coin comes out of his mouth. But why is this happening? How did this guy get into this suitcase? If you want to know, you have to watch the video till the end. Let's start the story. This boy's name is Justin. He is standing at the airport chatting with his friend Alex and waiting for his suitcase to be checked in the airport's rolling cart. He informs his friend via text message that his girlfriend Carla has broken up with him and he is very upset about it. Then he puts his phone in his pocket and notices that the rolling cart is not moving. He doesn't understand anything and looks around in amazement. Suddenly his suitcase comes out from another line. He then leaves without thinking so much about this and leaves for home taking his suitcase. He is driving to his home and smoking in the car, as he is upset about the breakup. Suddenly the phone slips from his hand and fell down, somehow a video call is made to his girlfriend Carla. Then his girlfriend says to him again, look, I have already said what I had to say. If you have something new to say, then say it or I'll hang up the phone. Saying this, she hangs up the phone. He gets upset again. After a while, he reaches his home. There is no one else in the house except him, he is completely alone at that time. To make his mood better, he starts to have food. He turns on the TV and watches different channels one after the other. Suddenly, he hears someone inside the suitcase saying, please, help me. Justin gets scared at first, then he thinks it's probably his friend Alex's job. Maybe Alex is at home and trying to scare him. So he says, Alex, I know it's you, get out of wherever you are. Then someone from the suitcase says, there is no Alex here, it's me, please, help me. Justin slowly opens the chain of his suitcase in fear. While opening it someone says from inside the suitcase again, please hurry. As soon as he opens the suitcase, he jumps back in surprise. He sees, a man is wrapped around his arms and legs inside the suitcase. Justin is so frightened by this, that he immediately takes a stick in his hand to defend himself. The man in the suitcase says to him, please turn my head a little so that I can speak properly. Frightened Justin, turns his head outside with one hand. The man sees the stick in Justin's hand and says, please don't hit me. Justin then feels somewhat safe, so he drops the stick to the ground and asks the man how he got into it. The man replies, I have done wrong to someone which I should never have done. The man in the suitcase asks him if he can help him a little. Justin then says, yes, it looks like your limbs are completely broken, you need to be taken to the hospital right now. I'm taking you to the hospital in my car, don't worry. The man then tells him, no no, the hospital can't help me. Justin says again, don't worry man, any problem can be treated in the hospital nowadays. Saying this, he immediately starts to pack his suitcase again to take him to the hospital. The man shouts from inside, no, I don't want to go to the hospital, please. Justin asks him why. The man replies, they will find me. Justin then asks, then what I can do for you? The man tells him, if you help me to get out of this suitcase, I will be able to go away on my own. Justin then tries to straighten the person's legs first. Every time he grabs the person's leg and tries to pull one out, the person starts screaming in pain and a gold coin comes out of his mouth. Justin takes the coin in his hand and sees that something is written in Arabic on that coin. That guy then says, I've been in this curse ever since I did a very wrong deed. Whenever I feel severe pain, a gold coin comes out of my mouth. You help me to get out. You can take all the gold coins that will come out while helping me. But Justin can't believe it, he gets very worried. So he packs his suitcase and takes it to his room and sits down to think. At one point, he falls asleep thinking about all this. The next morning, he takes the coin to a nearby gold shop to verify its authenticity. The shop owner there observes the coin and informs him that the coin is of pure gold and used as the currency in the reign of the Ottoman Empire. The shop owner then agrees to pay him $275 in exchange for that coin. He then meets up with his friend Alex and tells him that he had found a very ancient gold coin and sold it to a shop for $275. Alex tells him, you should have gone over $350, you got cheated bro. You are a very good hearted person, so everyone cheats on you easily just like your girlfriend cheated on you. Then Alex asks him again, I don't fully understand how you got this coin. Justin then says, there are several incidents to tell you, come with me. He goes to his own house with Alex. As soon as they reach the front of his house, he sees his girlfriend Carla coming out of his house. Seeing Justin, Carla says shouting, I knew you are a bad person but never thought you could kill anyone. Alex gets surprised to hear this. 
Alex then enters the house and goes to Justin's bedroom and sees a hand sticking out of a suitcase. The man inside the suitcase starts talking, Carla and Alex get very scared hearing the sound of a man. Carla asks Justin what did he do to that person. Justin says, I didn't do anything I got him that way. Carla questions him again, then why didn't you get him out? Justin then says, there's a lot more to it, it's a complicated story. Carla doesn't listen to Justin, he gets up and grabs the man by the legs to get him out of the suitcase. Just like the previous time, the man starts screaming in pain, and a gold coin comes out of his mouth. Alex notices that coin from behind and takes the gold coin in his hand. Showing this, he asks Justin you get coins from here, don't you? Listen to me friend, we are going to be rich now. We all share everything. We are friends. Carla asks Justin if this is really a gold coin. Justin can't say anything. In the meantime, Alex grabs the suitcase, pulls it, and throws it down the stairs. The man inside the suitcase cries out in pain and hundreds of gold coins comes out of the suitcase. The three of them are amazed to see so many gold coins together. Alex then says we wouldn't let him go anymore. First I take some gold coins out of it. Justin then says we'll leave him 48 hours later. As much as it should be in 48 hours. Alex agrees. Then they all start torturing the man inhumanely. At first, he brings a rat trap and stats to hurt the man's fingers. Hundreds of gold coins are coming out of his mouth. They constantly thinking of new ways to give that man pain. They come up with a range and pick up one of the man's teeth to give him more pain. They put him on a vibration machine. The man can't stand the pain and screams for help, but they don't pay any attention to the man's pain. The more the man screams the more they torture that man. Justin, meanwhile, goes out to get some money by selling the gold coins. Then Carla goes into a physical relationship with Justin's friend Alex. In fact, Carla had been cheating on Justin for a long time, but Justin never knew it. When Justin returns home, Alex quietly goes to a separate room. The next day, they start torturing that person again. This time they start giving him electric shock to get more gold coins with more pain. The electric shock is making more gold coins flow out of the man's mouth but the man is dying. Watching the man's condition Justin feels guilty, so he tells Alex and Carla you've got enough of what we need and we don't need to do it anymore. Alex then tells him that such opportunities do not come again and again in life. Once left, you will never find it again. We all want to be rich. We should take as long as we can. The man then begged them not to torture him again. Justin then tells everyone, look we promised 48 hours, 48 hours passed already. If we continue to do this, this person will die, and we don't want to be murderers. But Carla doesn't agree with anything and Alex starts preparing to torture him again. Justin then tells them, if you don't stop, I will call the police right now. He pulls the phone out of his pocket. He is about to call the police. Carla comes from behind with a hammer and hits Justin on the head. Justin's head begins to bleed. Somehow Justin goes to the stairs and then gets fainted there. Carla then asks Alex, what shall we do now? Alex replies, with the money we have, we can leave this country. But before that, let's have as many gold coins as we can. Then Carla takes the electric shock device in her hand again to give her electric shock. Then the man changes the tone of his voice and starts laughing. Laughing, he tells them, you both are bad kids. This world doesn't want bad people like you. Carla and Alex don't get afraid to listen to the man. They turn on the electric device to shock him. But even if their shock device voltage is increased, it does not work on that person anymore. The person starts laughing out loud and loud. The man's eyes begin to glow and a lot of smoke starts coming out of the suitcase and laughter starts coming from all around. This time Carla and Alex are both very scared. A monster-like creature comes out of the suitcase. Alex and Carla start screaming in fear of life. Then suddenly two more suitcases come in and Alex and Carla are stuffed into those two suitcases. Justin is seen in the hospital the next day. When Justin regained consciousness, he sees a bouquet of flowers beside him and a card. It was written on the card, you are a very nice person, if you ever need me just think of me. I will be with you. Meanwhile, the man in the suitcase goes to the airport and hands over two new suitcases to the airport rolling cart that contained Alex and Carla in the suitcase. That means Alex and Carla will fall into the same situation as the man in the suitcase. It will be the same with them now as they did to that man. That's why it is said, karma is a bitch. By the way, do you believe in karma? Write down in the comment section. 
I will be with another video soon.